Highland High, the Scots are off to their best start in years, winning five of their last six. While defense has been strong, they wouldn't be getting the wins without our Athlete of the Week. Here's 23 BBC's Stephen Hicks. And now, the Carl's Jr. Student Athlete of the Week. It may just be the preseason, but there's already a lot to be happy about at Highland. We're definitely headed in the direction that I'm, I was hoping for. The Scots have put together five wins in their last six matches and have dominated possession thanks to a strong defense. The other team doesn't get to pass the midline a lot, so we get to keep it on their side a lot, which will create a lot of chances for us. And Peyton Armijo should know all about those chances. After all, she's the team's leading scorer, and she's thankful for what her backline does. Sadie. Even if she does doesn't know exactly what it is they do. Outside that. Peyton's biggest goal came last week in a scoreless tie on the road against Stockdale. After having a lot of chances, that one goal kind of just like put a lot of stress off of me and the team as well. For her coach, choosing the right lineup is often a hopeful calculation. But with Peyton, he can almost pencil in a goal. She's uh, definitely put herself in that position where the expectation is, regardless of where she is on the field, that at some point uh, she'll find the back of the net. A lot of pressure for one player, but something Peyton's taken on with ease as a leader both on and off the field. I think we're more comfortable as a team, so the chances are created more. It's only a matter of time where we could place them just perfect. For being the team leader in goals, you've earned it. You're a Carl's Jr. Student Athlete of the Week, but to earn this plaque for out of back current trophies, can you score against two goalkeepers? Of course. Let's see it. <laughs> Stephen Hicks, 23 ABC Sports. Peyton and the rest of the Highland girls will be playing this week in the Garces Holiday Soccer Festival at Hart Park, a tournament with almost 150 teams. That starts Friday at 3.